Alright guys, so in other news, um, I don't know if you guys have heard the, uh, a messed up video where a dude takes out money, about 75,000 pesos, right? 76, 75,000 pesos, and then later on, uh, about a couple blocks later, he ends up getting robbed of the 76, precisely the amount that he took out, and the robber knew exactly which pocket he had it in. So all of this... All of this is very strange, right? You would say, how the hell did he know that I had 76,000 pesos? How the hell did he know I had it in my left pocket? Um, the reason for this is because he believes that the, the person that attended him at the bank, the teller, was in on it. So, later on, right here, in two, uh, we're in uh, 2020, uh, January 17th, this woman is now being accused of being the sister of one of the brothers of one of the persons that robbed this man which is messed up bro now the bank says that it's not her that she didn't do nothing there's no she didn't know she wasn't accomplice to to this act but honestly let's let's put it like this a couple days ago they said that santander banco santander the bank of santander was washing money for cartels so what makes you think that they're not in on this too that's a lot of money seventy six thousand pesos for normal Mexican, he has a lot. So in saying that the, the 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 judges have said that it is true, they are related in a familiar way. We have the bank on the other side saying that no, they're not they're not related. So who knows? But I believe that they are related because stuff like this doesn't just happen. You know, a robber doesn't just come up to you as soon as you take out money and says how much you have. You know what I mean? They would just say, "Give me all the money you got," right? Okay. Pretty sure you guys have heard the news or have heard of the rumors that there is a new migrant caravan um, that they're going to start marching over here. And to be exact or to estimate the exact number of people that are coming over here from uh, Honduras is about 1,500 people. Um, let me add right there that recently Mexico has made an announcement that all these, all these people that are coming over here, guess what? They're not allowed to go from the south to the north anymore. That's it. So I'm happy to announce that they will, they will not use Mexico like a bridge to go to the United States. If they get into Mexico, they have to stay in Mexico, period. There's no way that the government is going to help them or even show them how to go to Mexico. But I'm pretty sure all of us know that below the table, some way they're going to get helped by um, groups, you know, religious groups or, or uh, hum, hum, uh, you know, so C D C D H C or something, something like right right here, which is like the the human rights activist groups here in Mexico. So, just to give it clear though, Mexico is the one that's saying that they will not be able to cross from the south to the north anymore. So let's see how this plays out in the long run. But here you can see a bunch of them here uh, at the south of Mexico right now in in Guatemala and Tecunumán. So they recently got, they got here in the morning today, which is. Uh, uh, January seventeenth. They've been uh, they've been walking for like about sixteen hours, maybe the whole day since I think it was since, uh, no wait yeah since yesterday in the morning they started gathering together in Honduras to head out at night or in the afternoon. And on the way there, they've been um, you know they've been uh, more people has gathered and joined this this march, so. Um, We'll see how this plays out here in Mexico because, uh, like, like I said, under the table, who knows? There's going to be human rights activists and religious uh, groups that are going to try to help them. But knowing that Mexico said they can't go from the south to the north, we're going to have to see how that plays out. Just giving you guys information right here. 1,500 are, are expected to be arriving um, in Mexico. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be more because they, they said that there's a... Um, they started spreading out. As soon as they arrived into Guatemala, they started spreading out into, the, into different points of the border, which means that they already know about the news of Mexico saying that they can't go from the south to the north. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be smuggled or some are going to try to sneak their way up to north, to the north. So like I said, let's just see how that plays out. And for now, this is just me reporting in. <laughs>